Hey guys, thanks for joining me on um, The English Gentleman Gamer. And I thought I'd do, before I do an actual video with a few tips and tricks and pointers for Killzone 3, I thought I'd do a quick run through of the different classes and what it all means basically. So the first picture we're looking at is my own Killzone account, because you can actually check this stuff online. And this is the engineer, um, standing next to his turret. So, first off, repair tool, and then repair tool plus, repair tool plus plus under his primary abilities. Um, you need this one basically because this is what repairs turrets but more importantly also repairs the ammo crates which sometimes you'll be in a match and there's a guy who runs around and keeps them all green which means they're yours uh, other times you'll be in a match and no one bothers repairing any so especially running SMG submachine guns they can run out of ammo quite quickly so repair tool is quite important the sentry turret I didn't think this was very important until I unlocked sentry turret plus plus um, main reason was I didn't find them very effective but certainly sentry turret 1 and 2 are kind of crap really sentry turret plus plus though all, uh, zoo, um, aims faster, shoots faster and also has ro rockets on it um, which is very useful on to the engineers weapons now I haven't unlocked the STA3 LMG um, one of the reasons for that is that you can't aim down sight on it have picked it up off the floor in various matches it is marginally more powerful in my opinion than the ISA version but you lose a lot out for the fact you can't aim down sight so it's basically it's like a shotgun unless you're right next to him it's pretty crap the M2241 LMG is very good uh, I prefer it to the STA3 LMG because you can aim down the sight and you can actually because it's quite powerful you can actually pick people off at quite a good distance um, the STA-11 SMG is pretty good, very fast firing, as you can see, well you might not be able to read it from where you are, but I fired over 5,000 rounds with that, well, 90 kills, so my accuracy is not very good. Um, secondary weapons, I don't really go for the secondary weapons in this game, not because they're bad, but I just can't, I always forget. I unlock The one thing that's weird, you don't automatically have pistols on this one, you have to buy them for one unlock point each. So it's very weird being in, if you don't unlock all, um, the pistol for each one straight away, it can be very weird picking, um, like for me for example, I don't play as the, what's he called, infiltrator very often, so I don't think I've only recently unlocked the pistol for it. So it's very weird going into a, a fight with it using an infiltrator, and my normal reaction to running out of ammo is rather than reload I'll switch to a pistol, but in, his, in that case I'd never had the uh, pistol, so it was very weird. Um, I, but I did however unlock both these guns in the beta uh, which was very generous with the points and unlock points I've not unlocked them now because I can't be bothered I don't have no intention of using them they're basically small shotguns they're very powerful but unless you hit them head, you know, right in the face then you're knackered basically right on to the marksman now as you'll see I haven't unlocked very much on this the reason is I can't use my sniper rifle um, the cloak suit is very effective once you get cloak suit plus plus on then you stay cloak forever uh, even when you're firing your weapon which didn't apply in kill zone 2 it makes basically means you're virtually impossible to spot unless you're getting shot in which case you do start appearing scramble um, I think it's a tactician has um, a spotting ability so you would appear on the enemy's radar but the scramble fucks that up. Again, I've not unlocked everything in this class because I do have the VC-32 sniper rifle, which is very good on the odd occasion I've been able to use one, which is only by picking someone else's up off the floor. Um, but I've not really pursued it very much because I can't... When I select the sniper rifle, I get given the STA-52 assault rifle, which is very good, but it's not the weapon I'm trying to use. Uh, but the st going to the STA-52 assault rifle, it is probably a bit more powerful than the M82 it lacks the sight option that the M82 has but it's very very good I would recommend it the STA-14 rifle is very good well no certainly very not it's not quite true it's not very useful but it's very powerful it's very accurate but it's single fire as you can see I've only shot 41 bullets with it and got two kills so I don't really pursue it very much um, going on to the secondary weapons the STA-18 pistol you know, I've got 23 kills with that I've not fired that many rounds. It's alright. It's as 
half decent pistol basically. Shotgun pistol again, just a shotgun. Now the M66 machine pistol, um, I use this quite a lot on the medic class. It is worth unlocking. So if you like to use a sniper rifle, then it basically is a an SMG that's a little bit less powerful and has a, f a little bit fewer bullets in the mag, but it is very good. Certainly for a sidearm, it's my preferred sidearm, but anyway. Um, quickly on to the tactician, as you'll see I've unlocked 10 out of 12 unlocks for this guy. Tactics basically means you capture areas quicker. Well, if it's like capture and hold, you capture them quicker. Uh, the recon ability. Temporary mark enemy positions on your minimap. Well, that's okay. The sentry bot, though. Um, that's... I don't know. If you've run out of things to unlock, then unlock it. I don't find I don't get that many kills with it personally. Um, I don't think it's magic, but I unlocked it just because I had points to spend basically. On to the tactician's primary weapons, the STA 11 SMG suppressed this time. Pretty good, I like it. It's very good up. If you're in a, a map with lots of tight bits, you know tight areas around certain objectives, it's very good. You certainly mow through them pretty fast. LS-13 shotgun, as you'll see, when I got six. Well, you might not be able to, but I've got six kills with that weapon because I don't like shotguns. M82 assault rifle. I've got 426 kills with that gun. Um, it's excellent. It's my pick of the guns of the game. If that gun was the way it is for the tactician on the medic, I probably wouldn't use the tactician very much, to be honest. But um, it's slightly weaker on the medic class. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, secondary weapons. st 18 pistol. Been over that. The M4 revolver is very good. Obviously you need quite a good crack shot with that because it's like a revolver in a game. It's very much more powerful than a pistol but slower shooting. VC9 rocket launcher. There's a reason why this was put down as a secondary unlockable weapon. Because a lot of people used this in Killzone 2 and it was annoying. Effective but fucking annoying. A lot of them would, in a, at a, in a pinch, they would fire at their own feet when you were right next to them. So they'd take you out on themselves. That's why it got fucked off into the secondary weapons. And it isn't isn't nowhere near as popular as it used to be in Killzone 2. Moving on quickly to the Infiltrator, you'll see I've unlocked virtually none of this class. I don't like it. It really fucking winds me up. Disguise 1 anyway. Disguise++. plus plus. Perform melee attacks and you don't lose your disguise. If you've only got Disguise++ plus on, and you're undetectable by engineer turrets and medidroids. I fucking hate this class. It, it does has taken a shine off the game for me. They're very hard to spot unless you're quite... If you've got your sights on them, they will flash orange and red, as opposed to a normal enemy who's not disguised, it will just appear red. It takes a bit of getting used to, you do eventually start having your suspicions. They also tend, because of this secondary ability, this survivalist bollocks, they do tend to run quite fast. So if you're thinking, hang on a minute, how come that guy's managing to run away like a fucking cheater and I can't keep up with them? It's because it generally means they're um, an infiltrator. I'll get on to them another one. Um, weapons, I can't really be asked. LS-13 shotgun, hate it, but it's very powerful, but I just don't like it. st 11 SMG is very good, and the STA-52 SE assault rifle is um, fantastic. It's an awesome weapon, um, and I've discussed the pistols and those other rocket launchers before. On to my favourite class, the field medic, which is the only one I've unlocked everything. Revive, or Revive++. Plus Plus. That, hmm, it doesn't mean you revive them over a better distance or anything like that. What it does mean is you give them more ammo. I mean, if you've got Revise Plus on, you revive with higher maximum health, two clicks of ammo on one explosive device. If you've got Revive Plus Plus, they get higher maximum health, higher ammunition levels and higher grenade levels. So you're doing, yourself, you're doing everyone a favour by um, reviving them. I've got 310 revives. That's quite a few. Triage. Now that's another one. Apparently triage normal means you em emanate or emit an aura of health from the medic, so standing near one means they'll, uh, you'll recharge your health. Triage plus deposit medidroid, and they are quite useful. Um, not just They don't get many kills, they get a few, don't get me wrong, they do get the odd one. Um, no more or no less than the sentry drone things you can, you can call in. But what they do do that other things don't do. They're like it's like having a dog because they can sense people you can't see. We're obviously human and etc. They can start shooting at things you can't see, particularly 
snipers and stuff like that. So they are quite useful for that, they, although obviously they do give away your position as soon as they start firing. Triage plus plus, that's the good one because that means you can revive yourself once per life. It's very useful. So I will see a lot of videos where people appear to be dead and I'll shoot them again because they can revive, especially medics can revive themselves. And there's a lot of fun being shot, waiting for them to run off and you stand back up and go back and give them a good twat around the head. Quick run over the medics weapons, the LS57 SMG, I don't know what it's called, I got 615 kills with that bad boy, I do use it quite a lot. It's very good in the enclosed maps and maps where people are up close and personal. M224 1A LMG, I do like that one as well, 263 kills with that one. Again, you know, it's basically it's an LMG but it also has, you can aim down the sight and it is pretty, fairly handy at distance obviously, you've got to be quite, quite liberal with the the tap firing on that skull, but it is good. And the M82 SE, now they, this is one of my gripes with this game, they fucked this gun up. They've put a silencer on it and given it a three round burst. Which means it's more accurate, but it's less powerful and it's not quite as useful as it was. In Killzone 2 I thought the Medic was easily the most rounded or best class to use. Not anymore, well, I say not anymore, not with that gun anyway. Um, the M224 is alright with anything medium distance or absolutely shitloads of people but the LS-52 just cuts through people like butter fantastic and I've unlocked all the pistols mainly because I wanted the M66 which is a fantastic backup weapon automatic, I've only got 30 kills with that but it is good it's very very good, I'd recommend that one especially if you're a medic or what was the other class that had it, was it marksman? yeah if you're the marksman or the medic you should get that as a side I might rate it greatly High, very highly. Right, then there's another bit called All Classes, which I've, you unlock um, just by reaching a certain level uh, in the game. So, Frag Grenade and Proximity Mines, I'll not, I don't have to go over that. If you've played an FPS game, you know what the score is with these. Um, proximity Mines don't stick around when you're dead, by the way. They will vaporise when you die, so it's up to you. I personally prefer, as you'll see, I've had no kills with Proximity Mines and 101 kills with Grenades. I don't really like the mines. It, not that I don't like them, I just I forget to put them down basically if I ever arm it. Skills, now this is a personal one. I usually run with armour because I can usually, more than anything because I forget that I can do these things, but silent footsteps, I'm, you know, I'm guessing you're more quiet than everyone else. Extra ammo can be useful, especially on um, maps like Maul or Graveyard where, some, in my opinion, the ammo crates are few and far between. It may be worth carrying that one. Armour wise, I'm not convinced it makes a massive amount of difference. I don't feel like I um, die any quicker or slower using it. I just always forget to change it to tell the truth. Extra primary weapons is worth doing to be honest. Um, I might start doing that because obviously switching from like say um, an LS57 to the what was it, the medic's weapon the M224 would be quite useful on occasion so I might start doing that myself but anyway I just wanted to run over the classes and the different weapons and the abilities and what I think is worth getting if I was starting the game from scratch <coughs> I'd stick to being a medic and the engineer I think they're the most useful ones overall tactician definitely has some benefits capturing the flags and stuff is very useful and the recon ability which used to belong to the sniper or marksman rather it now belongs to the tactician is very good because it, as you'll see on one of my later videos, it basically it not only shows a on the mini map where they are. If if you can see them, it actually puts a target on the head to make it even easier to shoot them. So that one's also worth it. I personally don't find marksmen that useful, although obviously fans of being in snipers will do that. Infiltrator, I just hate that class, and every time I get killed by one, it pisses me off even more. But anyway, anyway I've got two disguised kills so far. And that's about as much as I've done on that one. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me on this quick review of the classes in Killzone 3. And next time hopefully I will have some actual gameplay footage on and some tips on how to play the game. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye.